hey bunny welcome back to my channel or welcome um to my returning subscribers thank you so 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 much for clicking on another video you have no idea how much i appreciate your support and i love you for that and i owe you big time so i'm always gonna come through to for you i'm always gonna come through with the banger and if you are here for the first time hi my name is Honey, and every single Thursdays at 5 o'clock Central African time, I have a video premiere where I share, give advice, and educate on anything and everything adulting. So, if you are excited about that, then stay tuned and let's get into this video. So, guys, I've been having nightmares about my ex. And no, it's not those type of nightmares, those Cinderella nightmares where I'm hoping he's gonna pick up a shoe of mine and fit it with the other one or like, I don't know. But it's not a nightmare where I'm like, I wanna get back with him and get married to him. No, it's not that kind of nightmare. It's basically the nightmare where I'm like, where did you go wrong, honey? How did you not say this? And uh, how? Like, what happened? So, if you're new to this channel, it means you have, or if you haven't seen my video, my live stream basically where i spoke about how i found out i was a side chick then please check out that video because um uh, i obviously can't go through telling that story again in this entire video so check out that video and then come back to this video so today i'm basically giving an opinion or advice take it leave it do whatever you want to do with it about my situation because my nightmares in my night in my nightmares i'm always thinking about man how did you not see it or how how did you stay for that long like eight months how it was it eight or seven i forgot but how did you how did you do it for that long i always ask myself that question and even in the live streams as i was sharing the story a lot of you were coming at me uh, with the question of honey why did you do like Every time I'm telling the story, someone will be like, but honey, how did you not realize that? Honey, I thought you were leaving now. Honey, you still continued? Like, what? Honey, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, now, your questions handed me. Literally, I hand myself with those questions every single, not every single time, but um, frequently enough. Maybe like twice a month or like once a month. I hunt myself with those questions and I end up getting nightmares about my ex. And that's what you're talking about. So, I think the first thing I'm gonna talk about here is... The fact that instincts. Instincts, 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 instincts! Like, lady, you got instincts for a reason. Especially female. The female instinct, inst, 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 intuition, yes. The female intuition is so big and we can rely on it on so many times. And uh, the fact that I actually ignored my instinct haunts me until today. Because from the start of the relationship to the middle of the relationship to the end of that relationship, I should have trusted my instinct already but it took me seven eight months however long that was to trust my instincts and even when i ended the relationship it wasn't because i found out i was a side chick no i ended the relationship because of my instincts i was like no this is this is too much of me ignoring my instincts and so when i ended the relationship i basically just ended the relationship because i was following my gut and i was just going for it and then a week or two weeks later is when I found out I was the side chick. So I didn't break up with him because I knew or I found out I was the side chick. I broke up with the person because uh, of instincts. And I feel like I held on to it for so long. And I think these are some of the reasons I held on to it for that long. Um, I feel like for most part, I... He... He, he had this thing no not, not like bullying or he just had this thing where he always knew what to say he always had an excuse literally for every single thing and it was <laughs> these excuses were crazy by the way and 
one day i arranged this whole thing where we were gonna have like a date night at home where we we're gonna watch a movie so we're gonna pretend like we're going to the cinema because it was during covid and at the time the cinemas were closed and i guess the cinema still is like my favorite place to go to but yeah so we i we planned that we're gonna have a date night right so popcorn you know movies and just some wine and winding down so literally i prepared an entire room for this guy um you know me diy decorated had the red lights on had the place looking like a you know a picnic inside the house for a cinema type of situation i don't have videos i didn't take any i wish i did so i can insert them here but yeah it was like a, a whole cute situation and then the person when the person arrived they kind of arrived late but i was like we had an agreement that we we're gonna meet at seven but i think they came at like 7 30 they were a little bit late but i was like okay cool um that's fine and while we were at it like i don't know how but i was holding his hands or something and i smelled like you know the female vagina like ah <laughs> uh, yeah i you know that smell man we all, ladies we all know that smell i smelled it and i was like this is off like and so i was like why why do your hands smell like that and the weird thing is that it wasn't the first time that he came to me with his hands smelling like that so i think it kind of became a thing that his hands smelled like that but it just never hit me that his hands smelled like that because he was probably with another person like before he came to me and uh, <sighs> It's disgusting me even having to share this with you now because why did I not in those moments question it? Like every time I would smell it and I would just be like, why do your hands smell like that? And like I would never literally put two and two together until that day. And I was like, you know, I was I was pissed, but I was like, you know, I planned this whole nice thing for you and I don't want to ruin it and his explanation was just seemed like i don't know like i don't know why my hands smell like that i probably put them in my pants so i was like eh, probably it i was like oh also because it was covid and sometimes um not not that it smells similar but sometimes when you use different types of hand sanitizers your hands end up smelling like shoes so i was like you know what maybe he did put it there and then the whole smell was just weird and it was off and i should have known then but i didn't and i just went on along right um yeah um his excuses were pretty good by the way so i guess i let the excuses fool me cool don't feel pity for me please next thing <laughs> i was stupid i should have been wiser i'm sharing this with you so you know so you are not as stupid as me next time so the next thing the next thing that i ignored was the fact that we would never meet at his place like i dated this guy for eight months and in the beginning of the relationship i always asked like can i come to your place like why can i never come to your place you know uh i'm coming to your place can we go do one at your place and then he would literally agree and then minutes or like hours before we have to go do the thing he will change his mind and be like no let's just go do it at your place um i'm like okay okay cool whatever we can just do it at my place <laughs> um it became so intense that towards the end of the relationship it got to that place where i was like you know what if i can't come to your place then you can't come to my place so um that was the deal basically so we made the deal that i was gonna go to his place um after i don't know because i only went to his place literally once and that one time also it was because we went out and then i was like really out so um uh, yeah another sign that i ignored <laughs> and i don't know i literally threatened the guy that if he didn't let me go to his place i'd break up with him but i still never broke up with him even though he didn't and it was just weird like i knew that something had to be off for me not to be able to go to his place but i just i i, I 
nice and even i i, I never know I, ne I, I i don't know how and i can't even explain it today and i guess it's why i get nightmares but i'm wiser now and literally the next time i'm gonna be smarter Um, the third one was basically this person's phone would never ring when we are together. Like the only time his phone would ring when we are together, not even ring, he would basically call. So like he would never receive phone calls, but he would make phone calls. So that was the other sign that I ignored, which I mean, it's pretty weird. Come on, how do you date someone for like, what, how many months? and then all of a sudden just find a, a like you can't be dating someone for eight months and expect them not to be receiving any phone calls but always giving like always give, giving phone calls but never receiving phone calls like come on so he would probably put his phone on flight mode or i don't know what the assumption was or he would block whoever needed to call him i don't know he would maybe block his girlfriend yes so that takes us to the next thing that um to happen so say we had plans ne, and he decides to bail on them or he was like you know i'm coming um he 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 went somewhere you know he's, he, to he tells me where he's going but then he would end up having his phone like off not even off his phone would never be off i would call but then it would literally you know how the phone goes when your number is blocked it would do that so um he would consistently put my phone like he would constantly block my number future honey editing this video and uh, it came to my mind that i forgot to mention this in the video and it's that um most of the time when this would happen is basically when he's going to visit his child which is uh, basically visiting his baby mama which i thought was literally just baby mama child situations but then in fact it was his girlfriend and yeah so <laughs> it was one of those things and then when i call him and ask him about it he he will come up with the excuse of no my phone was just off um it wasn't blocked and so um it, the, those instances were so many that i tried calling i started um calling when i call him and the phone did that i would call him with somebody else's phone and the phone would go through and then that's how i knew that no my number is blocked but still like i mean this man was good with his words and not only was he good with his words it's those type of men that when they do something wrong they would in turn in return do something nice for you and then you end up forgetting about it and <laughs> Ooh, a girl's gotta believe in love right so yeah that used to happen <laughs> uh my number would get blocked and then when i try to call with someone else I'm, i mean like when i try to confront him about it he would be like, I don't know, he would come up with an excuse or he would, you know, surprise me with something nice. <laughs> the other thing is that he would take phone calls in the bathroom or he would go to the bathroom to go make phone calls. So, yes, <laughs> like I said, he would never receive phone calls, but he would make phone calls. He would go to the bathroom to go make phone calls and I guess i don't know why i didn't take that he would make it seem like it's like a family matter or it's like a matter with his brothers or... <sighs> guys <laughs> i ignore so many signs and all of these signs when i'm mentioning them here and you guys would be like honey you're not ignoring signs you're just being stupid which maybe i was but yeah cool um next sign that i ignored the next sign i ignored was basically whenever we are on the phone, eh? Where she be? Uh-uh. This one is extra. So, um, whenever he would, like, when we're not together now, he's at his house, eh? And he's trying to talk to me. He'll be like, oh, let me video call you, eh? Cool. And then, in the video call, <laughs> in the video call, he would, like, his, his, his background or his area would always be black. Like, it would never have, like, like, I can never see his face. I'm, like, it's just black. This video would be, ten, not turned off. He wouldn't turn it off. It would be on, but it would be black. And then mine would be the one having the light. 
Iya. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. Honestly speaking, it's not funny. I just I don't know why. Like, hi, honey. Hey, why are you not? Why are you not? Why are you not assuming something is wrong if a guy is video calling you and his light is his lights are off? I I fine. Okay, guys, I have seen the person in person as well, so I'm not thinking the person is obviously being a catfish because I I've seen the person in person, so. I just never assumed they were really being all that. Um, so in my dreams, I'm always trying to go back to that moment where like I knew the in the beginning of the relationship that this person wasn't forthcoming or like they were not as honest as I would like them to be and that there was something behind it. But I guess I just ignored it and not even and not even did I ignore like my instincts on what I also let, I mean, he was like a pretty good liar, to be honest, because as much as I judged him, not judged him, but as much as I had the instincts that, you know, this person, as much as I had the instincts that, you know, this person is lying and they are, they are not being honest with me. Every time I asked the question, I would get like the perfect reassurance, like, you know what, no, you're just um, overreacting or no, that ain't the case, this is the case. Like he would come back with a good excuse or he would just say that I was overreacting. And then the other thing is that I always knew the relationship was never gonna work because I could never really be myself around this person. It was all about, um, I was always conscious about how I'm thinking, what I'm gonna say and how I'm gonna like react to certain things or who I could talk to and who I could not talk to. Like I always had to be careful with what I said around this person or what I said to this person because I guess in my, in my, in my mind, I told myself, no, he's just a sensitive person and that's just him. So, you know, you have, I had, I had to be careful. Okay, guys, so um, I think those were the signs that I ignored. Um, the most important one of them all being my instinct and just not trusting my instinct. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I was silly, I was naive, and I believed this nigga for some weird reason. But that's over now. Um, I'm sharing this advice with you guys so that if you are in a similar situation, you would know to listen to your God or you would know to, you know, try to analyze the signs and just get out of it before it's like late eight months like myself. <laughs> you don't want to waste so much time on such things. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment down below of what are some of the signs that you ignored in relationships that ended up not working. And if you would have followed those signs, you would have um, gotten out of this relationship a little bit earlier. So yeah, let me know. Come on, um, leave a comment down below. Let's uh, chat about that. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.